Hey friends, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to make custom balloons. So we're going to use vinyl and we're going to use balloons and we are going to create our own message on them for all of the celebrations and all of the holidays. Um, and so for baby showers and birthdays, specifically today we are going to make graduation day balloons. And so we're going to customize them. And um, you know what's great about these is they're not only a great um, you know, decor idea, so graduation, you know, party decorations, um, but we're gonna put money in them and make them the actual gift. Um, and then I'm gonna show you the right way to put vinyl on the balloons, because here's the deal. It is extremely frustrating when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Take it from somebody who tried it multiple times and did it the wrong way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the best tips and tricks on how to do it the right way so that you don't get frustrated like me. By the way, if you are new here, you are crafting with Kim Byers, I would love for you to hop down and hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. And by the way, I answer every single comment myself. So if you wanna to talk to me, ask me a question, hop down in the comments and leave me one. Or if you don't have time for that, just hit that thumbs up and let me know that you were here. All right guys, let's hop over to the craft table. Okay, so here we are on the craft table and these are the things that we're going to use today. So I have my vinyl. I'm gonna be using smart vinyl. It does not have to be smart vinyl, just vinyl, but it does need to be permanent. So here I have my permanent vinyl. I have my transfer tape. I have my balloons. I have cash, which is what we're gonna be putting inside of the balloons as a gift. I have a masking tape. I have a fabric ruler and I have my brayer, which you could also use a scraping tool. Um, and then this is actually my glass board. So guys, I've come to love this thing. Um, and I'll put links to all this down below. But this is the best way for me not to mess up my craft table and be able to use the transfer tape and anything sticky that would be on my table. I'm loving this glass board. And then we're going to use the Cricut Explore 3 to cut everything out. Okay, so let's move these items out of the way. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure our balloon. And actually, even before um, measuring our balloon, we want to take our money, we're going to roll it up, and we're going to pop it inside of our balloon, and we are going to blow up our balloon, okay? So I like to do um, multiple balloons, and so I'm just going to put, I like doing small increments, depending on how many balloons I'm going to do. Um, so we pop that in, and then we just want to blow up our balloon. Okay, so in full disclosure, I had to go wash my hands. <laughs> from touching the cash. I had to go wash my hands and then and wash the little lip of the thing and before I blew it up. I know, I just, I can't, I can't handle it. Okay, so now that you have your blown up balloon, we just wanna take our fabric measuring tape and then we're going to measure um, the girth of the balloon because we wanna make sure that we have enough space to put our message on it. So I'll show you all about that in Cricut Design Space. But basically, I mean, we have an area of, I would say, 10 inches, maybe even just eight or nine, because the less you curve, the easier it will be. But you could still do something, I mean, you could still do something seven inches or six inches by eight, and it would still be very visible. And you can always put multiple messages, you know, on, on multiple sides. Okay, so let's pop over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you what it's all about. Here we are in Cricut Design Space, and all I have done is gone into Cricut Design Space, opened up a new canvas, and brought in some things that I thought would look good on a balloon. Just some fun, easy, simple things. So I thought that, um, you know, so proud. Um, I did that myself. <laughs> I just thought that would be a really great something to put on a graduation day gift. Um, and you know, yay, grad, class of 2022. And then the really fun, you know, just an emoji with the little hat, I thought that one was really good. And so this is the one that we're actually going to put on our balloon on the craft table. Um, but I have made all of these, and so I will show you that at the end. So what we wanna do at this point is we just wanna go ahead, and I like to always go into color sync and just make sure that everything, you know, it's just two colors. Um, and then we will go over into um, make sure that we have the right machine. And I'm actually going to be using the Explore 3, and then we will go ahead and select make it. Okay, so I saved it to my phone just because I wanted to be able to be on the craft table to do this. So my graduation 22 balloons, we're going to customize. 
Okay, and I've removed or actually just hid the things that I didn't want to cut. So I just really want to do the face um, for this particular balloon. So let's go ahead and hit make it. And now it's asking me if I want um, with uh, the mat or without the mat. And we're going to use smart materials. So without the mat. Okay, and so now that it's brought it up on the mat, we can go up and click the top and change this material size. So the our uh, materials are 12 inches. So let's shift that to 12. Okay, and so now that we know what the material is going to look like, we're only going to be cutting roughly six inches or so. Okay, and so now we just select our machine. And wouldn't you know, I need an update. <laughs> Okay, so now we're all updated and ready to go. We've moved on to the next screen. So setting material, you can choose all material. I already have the Smart Vinyl Permanent as a favorite. So that's the one we're gonna use. So it tells us load the fine point blade, which is already in my machine, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we just need to put on our tray. So these little markers here tell us, um, or these little guides tell us that we have the tray in place. Should I do? There we go. And set down. Okay, and then we want to use our smart vinyl. Small piece of tape. Okay, and then we want to set it in the tray and then we just feed it through. I love this little feature. Oops, I should put my blade all the way over. There we go. So it pushes it down. Okay, and now we're ready to load. Isn't that cool? Okay, and so our machine is going to make sure that we have enough material on this roll um, to cut, and it does. And so now it's telling me that it's ready to go. I love how fast this thing is. Voila, done. Okay, so the next little feature I love about this, do you see this little button here? This is actually how you cut off. <laughs> that great? So now I know that I have all this. I don't have to worry about having, you know, um, to handle that whole big roll when I'm trying to figure out where my cut is. And so I just remove this, set it to the side and unload. And now this is my this is my cut piece, yay, right? So cool. Okay, and you guys know how I am about saving materials. Um, so with smart materials, one thing I always like to tell you guys is you can absolutely save these materials and put them on a mat if you have extra. Because of course, there's a whole area here under the hat, um, and I'm not gonna waste all that vinyl. I'm going to use it. So just know that you can take a pair of scissors and trim this out and put it in a little envelope or a little um, you know, folder, Ziploc or something, and store it and keep it for your next project. Okay, and so the next thing that we need to do is we need to um, go ahead and weed out our materials. And this permanent vinyl, I find it super easy to weed, super easy. So we're gonna pop that up. There we go. Let's grab it by your hands. And it's a super simple design. And that is the other thing. I was going to tell you a little tip about this. Um, you want to use simple designs when you're putting stuff like this on balloons. You don't want a lot of little whimsical font and that kind of thing. Go simple. Trust me. Go simple. Okay, so now that we have those um, separated because I want to be able to put the little hat on top of him, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take my um, transfer tape and I'm going to go ahead and get it onto... You know what, I'm gonna put the face on first because um, I don't wanna get the hat too low and then the face be too low. And I am actually using um, transfer tape that has been used before because I want it to be less sticky. If for some reason you have brand new transfer tape and you're worried about it, because we do want it to come off, right? Um, you could use like a microfiber towel or something like that and put the, um, the 
transfer tape onto it and kind of like get some of the tacky off but we want it to pick up the design but we just don't want it to stick um, to the balloon you know to the point to where it like pops it or and that's an, another tip guys don't use super thin balloons like make sure you get decent balloons okay so let's go ahead and pull that away and one thing i will say that i have noticed about um, permanent and smart actually smart more so than it even being permanent is that it um, wants to stick to the backer or the the back piece of the material more than like a normal vinyl would so just be prepared to have to work a little bit harder at it there we go i mean that wasn't too tough right okay so then we want to get the mouth off Ta -da! okay so now we have our transfer tape and we are ready so what we want to do now is we want to set these items aside and we want to get our balloon into place. Okay, so now it's time to prep our balloon. So what we want to do is we want to take a damp paper towel or a baby wipe and just clean up uh, the powder. You know, latex balloons are going to have that kind of powder film on it. Well, your vinyl's not going to want to stick to that very well. Ugh, didn't that sound awful? It is awful, but it tells you that the powder <laughs> it's coming off okay so just clean that area up really well and then once you have it cleaned up that masking tape i was telling you about before we're gonna place that on the side of the balloon and put it down to the table we want to hold our balloon in place and so we'll use two pieces okay and this is just going to keep our balloon from shifting we just want it to stay there and not blow away while we're trying to put on our design Okay, and so now we have our little laughy face, and I'm gonna put the little hat right about there. Okay, and so we're just gonna use our fingers. Oh, and a tip that I forgot to share with you and forgot to do, super smart as I am. Ooh, be super careful here, Kim, right? I don't wanna pop my balloon. That would be a funny outtake, right? If you cut little slits, in your transfer tape it allows it to put down the design without the bubbles do you see how that so it's still in place but that little cut allowed it to pop up there we go okay and so then when you go to take off the transfer tape take it off slowly guys just take it off really slow That great it's like magic can't say that I love the sound <laughs> but it is super cute right so a couple things about um, putting these designs on and putting them on helium versus putting them on this other cute little thing I'm gonna show you the helium is great, but it's only gonna last for three or four hours. So you have to make sure that you cut everything out in advance and then you come back and you know apply it kind of at the last minute. Or you can use this other method that I'm about to show you. Get this off, okay, fantastic. Let's put his little hat on and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we got our little graduation hat. I'm just gonna do that process super quick use my brayer okay and so for this guy I'm going to remember to cut some little snippets in my tape and then I'm gonna put his little hat on so stinking cute guys I mean seriously and how fun would it be to put their year and put their name and you know, like congratulations and then their name it just feels so special and not only that you put cash in this you cannot go wrong um, with balloons full of money it's just not possible to go wrong okay slowly gently remove that
Okay, so now if you want to create this the night before and then give it to them the next day, um, this is the way that you do it. Okay, so I found these at, goodness, I think I found them at Hobby Lobby. It might have been Walmart. I'm, I cannot remember. I've had them for a while, but they are balloon sticks. Are these not fantastic? So all you have to do is take the little end of the balloon. Let's take off our masking tape real quick. And you just take the little end part of the balloon, right? And then you put it inside of this little thing. So it goes into like the corner. And then the balloon sits right up. Guys, you can make a whole bouquet out of this. How stinking cute is that? It's just perfect. And it doesn't have to be helium. And I want to say that I got these, there's like eight of them in there, eight or 10. And I got them for like three or four bucks. So cool, right? I'll link everything up down below so you guys can make these um, yourself. And I hope that you loved it. Okay, so what'd you guys think? That was really easy, right? And you probably had a ton of ideas of different things that you're going to or parties that you are personally planning where you could add these cute custom messages and make them anything you want them to be. Um, and if you haven't already, hop down below and check out all the materials that we use today. And I would love you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. See you guys next time.